Hey guys, Tony here from Fresh Cap Mushrooms. I'm just here working late at the shop. I uh, just finished harvesting some lion's mane mushroom and some oyster mushrooms that we're probably going to be eating for dinner tonight. But I thought this would be a good time to quickly talk about uh, the difference between mushroom fruiting body and mycelium on grain. So this is a lion's mane fruiting body. Um, some people call it pom-pom. Uh, some people just call it lion's mane. As you can see, it's got these um, elongated teeth uh, that they use for spore dispersal instead of the gills. And it's an awesome gourmet mushroom. You can fry it up in butter and it kind of tastes like uh, lobster and you can use it in all kinds of dishes. It's one of my favorites. Um, but it's also an amazingly powerful uh, medicinal mushroom. It's really good for brain health and for memory and cognitive function in general. Um, and that's why we use the fruiting body of the mushroom in our electric uh, lion's mane supplement. Um, but this here is lion's mane grain spawn. And grain spawn is super important. It's an intermediary step in the mushroom growing process. So if I wanted to grow a lion's mane mushroom, I would uh, put the grain spawn into another substrate like hardwood sawdust. Uh, eventually the mycelium will go, grow all through the sawdust and eventually it will fruit mushrooms. And then you can take this mushroom, you can do a hot water extraction and uh, make a supplement, which is, which is this one. Um, the other option to make a supplement is to simply use uh, the grain spawn. So you can take grain spawn or myceliated grain or mycelium on grain, however you want to call it, and you can dry that and then you can powder that and put that uh, as a supplement. Um, and I guess the good thing about grain spawn is there is mycelium. There's a bit of mycelium. You can kind of see the white stuff there all over the grains. Um, but there is a lot of grain. Um, it might be oat, it might be brown rice, it might be rye. Um, and the problem is in the final product, you end up with a really high concentration of grain, a really high concentration of starch, uh, and a really low concentration of the beta-glucans and the beneficial um, compounds that you find in the mushroom fruiting body because um, there is no fruiting body in grain spawn. Um, so when you're going to take a, a mushroom supplement, I guess the, the most important thing is efficacy. So you want to find something that works for you. Um, but for me, I find the most important thing is that it's made from actual mushroom fruiting body because then you're going to get the, you know, the beneficial compounds that you're actually looking for and you're going to get the most benefit um, out of that supplement and the least amount of extra fillers or starch or the other stuff in grain spawn that uh, you just don't really need. Um, personal opinion is you should leave grain spawn to be kind of the intermediary step in the mushroom growing process. Um, so yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do a quick video to explain the difference between mushroom grain spawn or myceliated grain and actual uh, delicious and powerfully medicinal mushroom fruiting body, which is this guy. Um, so if you have any questions about that, leave a comment below or just send me an email. Happy to talk about it and uh, thanks for watching.